The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to week three of the Life After AEP webinar series. We are really excited to have you on the webinar today. and We think we've got some really valuable information to share with you. Uh, so sit back and just relax. Uh, we've got, um, you know, a little bit of uh, excitement going on today. We've got some great prizes uh, we're going to share with you at the end of the webinar. Um, also, uh, uh, I want to just encourage you to, uh, you know, continue to visit us uh, in these webinar series and, and, and stay engaged in this amazing learning platform. Um, so go ahead and just relax a bit and just uh, know that we're going to have an opportunity for some questions at the end of the presentation. Uh, today we have Transamerica and their product line uh, being featured as, uh, as uh, our webinar presentation. Uh, we're going to, uh, the presentation is going to escalate in complexity. The product's going to start out kind of simple and we're going to, you know, move from final expense through their term product and on into the UL pro IUL product. So. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to go ahead and enter them at any time throughout the, uh, the webinar. We'll address them towards the end of the webinar. Uh, Kaylee, our moderator today, is going to save them for the end of the presentation, and then we'll address them all at once. Uh, today, we are really excited uh, to bring to you the Transamerica line of products presented by Jane Webb, the Regional Sales Director for Transamerica. Uh, she is new to us, but certainly not new to our industry. Uh, she is a veteran and, and uh, definitely has a good grasp on these products and, uh, and I think it's going to do a really nice job at presenting them to you. Um, so, Jane, if you're there, would you mind uh, jumping in and sharing some of your wisdom, wisdom with us? I am here and I'm jumping, DP. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for having me on the call today. And to all of you who have dialed in, uh, thanks so much for doing so. I speak for everybody, all of my friends and colleagues at Transamerica, when I say we really appreciate your business. We value our relationship with AmeriLife, and we just look forward to a great new year with all of you. I can't believe it's already uh, the third of the webinar series and January is more than half gone. Uh, David told you a little bit about me. I am a regional sales or regional vice president with Transamerica. I am one of seven RVPs located uh, around the country. And if you can't tell from the accent, I will go ahead and admit my territory is the Southeast. I live in Atlanta. I am a native of Atlanta and I will share with you, it is very cold and snowy here today. I mean, we probably have an inch of snow on the ground. Uh, just a little more background. I've been in the insurance industry for over 20 years. I've done a little bit of everything and a lot of some things. Uh, I have been in personal production. I have been a product and a relationship manager. I have been a national sales manager. I've also been a wholesaler for annuities, for life insurance, and long-term care. So um, other than wash the dishes, I don't know what else you can do with life insurance, maybe be an actuary. Um, but I am very excited about the opportunity to be with you today and uh, enough about me let's get going let's talk about how uh, we are going to increase your success so i guess it's appropriate to start off by saying what welcome to life after aep i hope all of you had a great year last year that you had lots of success with medicare supplement solution products for your clients but um as we all know, many of those clients may have additional insurance needs. So that's what we're here to talk about today, additional life insurance needs. Uh, as David said, we're gonna focus on three Transamerica product solutions. These are permanent life insurance products. And I'm going to try to just hit the high notes today 
to give you a uh, product overview uh, and then uh, to also tell you what sets Transamerica apart from the competition in these pre three product spaces. Uh, as we move through our conversation today, um, I'm going to tell you who the prospects are for these products. Um, and as I go through, please, um, you know, please try to think of, uh, of customers and prospects you might already have, uh, people who have perhaps uh, bought Medicare supplement from you uh, who might be a good fit for some additional insurance. So we're going to begin with our final expense product solution today. This is a really fun product. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty basic and simple product. Um, I suspect most of you are familiar with final expense. You may not be familiar with Transamerica's final expense solutions, but we all know that this, again, is very important for your clients who own MedSup. I like to think of final expense and Medicare supplement solutions as being, uh, you know, sales that often go hand in hand. They're almost a companion sale. And we know what the numbers are. Um, the final expense market, just as the med sup market, is growing exponentially. 10,500 seniors enter the marketplace each and every day. Of course, I'm talking about all of the lovely baby boomers. So um, this is an important solution for all of them. The really good thing about Transamerica uh, final expense is that our premium will not increase and there is no medical exam required because our underwriting is based on answers to the health questions that are in our application. So this is easy for, your, uh, for you as the agent to take the app. It's easy to qualify for because it's a simplified issue. And one last thing, it's a great income opportunity for you while you're doing something very important for your customer. Um, I, I'd like to begin talking about final expense with insurance professionals uh, from the standpoint that all of you are really in a very unique position to have an important conversation with your clients. And that's important conversation in addition to med stuff, right? Um, again, those are your best prospects and don't you owe it to them to make sure they have the right coverage in place, not only for their peace of mind, but also obviously for the financial well-being of their families. I don't have to tell you that every day countless families lose lose a family member, lose a loved one, and this is devastating. But so many times it's made worse by the fact that many of these families may be left uh, struggling to pay for final expenses of the deceased family member. You know, hopefully we've covered the final medical bills with MedSup, but there are a lot of other expenses to consider like outstanding credit card debt, consumer debt, um, and just to reduce it to its very minimum, how about the final cost of a funeral? Depending on where an individual lives, a simple funeral is upwards of $11,000, and the average median cost across the entire country are over $24,000. That's a lot of money for a family to have to come up with. Uh, but I think, um, you know, final ex expense is just, you know, the perfect solution for so many of these people. Now, so we talked about the bad news, how expensive it is. Um, as if that's not bad enough, I, I know for a fact, because I uh, sold final expense, that many of the clients and prospects I've worked with have been suffering from misinformation regarding the benefits that are available from the government. If you don't already know these numbers, I urge you, uh, I certainly suggest that you write them down. Many Americans believe that Social Security will pay for their final expense needs. However, the reality is 
that there's only a maximum of $255, and that's for people who qualify. Uh, the VA, we often think that the VA will step up and cover funeral and burial expenses for veterans. But again, the reality is the maximum potential benefit uh, is $700. So if you add both Social Security and the VA benefit, that's less than $1,000 for a funeral that can be significantly expensive and ignoring the other final expense charges that often hit. So, you know, that leads us to this very large gap between what the government provides and what the actual cost of the final expense is. I'm not sure that so, would cover a casket. No. Uh, sadly, I've had a lot of experience uh, planning and paying for funerals, and it would be a drop in the bucket. All right, this next slide I uh, privately call, if you're an agent, why do business with Transamerica? Uh, and I've got a long list of reasons, but I'll start with one of the most obvious, and that is um, Transamerica is a highly rated life insurance company. Uh, because of our national advertising program, our sponsorship, um, our Transamerica Pyramid in San Francisco is, is pretty much iconic. So we have name recognition, we have brand recognition, and we've been in business at this point 114 years. Um, we have a very strong commitment to uh, final expense and also a very competitive position. And uh, I'm I'm sure, at least I hope you agree, it's a whole lot easier to talk about a company that people are familiar with, people know, and a country that company that's been around for a long time. Um, there are some other very key advantages to Transamerica's final expense uh, product series. We do offer uh, policies uh, all the way down to age zero and all the way up to age 75. We offer a minimum face amount as low as $1,000 and a maximum of $50,000. Uh, when, when one gets out to say mid 70s, um, it's hard to find a company that will offer a face amount any higher than Transamerica. We will even issue up to $25,000 between issue ages 76 to 85. So this is very unusual, and I think it's very important because we are playing in a, uh, in a senior market, if you will. Yeah, I don't know um, another company that offers the, uh, the face mount at those ages that you guys do. Yes. That is absolutely correct. And remember, there's one last thing here. This is simplified issue whole life. That means there are no medical exams, uh, no needles. Again, we underwrite based on answers to the health questions in our application. Now, I do, in fairness, want to make sure to point this out, make sure that everyone understands. We will, when we receive an app, we will check prescription history. We will check uh, medical information bureau about past medical history, and we will check the motor vehicle department for driving records. Uh, and we may or may not do a phone interview. And one last thing you do have to meet with and take the application in person with your final expense customers. Is that clear, David? It is, perfectly. All right, well, let's move right along then. Um, we bring some very unique underwriting advantages in addition to the fact that we are simplified uh, issue, no medical app, but some very unique advantages, I believe, to your final expense practice. Uh, I think we, uh, we all know, again, we're looking at a senior market, the, the, the key, consumer age for a final expense purchase is between the ages of 45 
to 85. We have two different applications depending on the age of the insured. From zero to 44, a separate app, and we do ask questions about um, height and weight. So for zero to 44, um, you know, you need to be concerned about height and weight. In other words, if someone is not tall enough for their actual weight. But the good news is that at that target market of 45 to 85 with a different application, we do not apply our height and weight charge. That is a huge, huge advantage in the final expense marketplace. Yep, there is no question about it. That is a huge advantage. And uh, just something, I mean, I'm not looking for adverse selection here. You know, we want to be around, we want to make good underwriting offers, but our underwriters are human beings. They look at every application. Um, depending on the diagnosis and the help history, we can be very friendly from an underwriting point of view to certain types of cancers and to other uh, medical conditions that you might think would be a problem. So our underwriting advantages are huge. Um, I mentioned that those decisions are based on a waterfall app. I, I hope that's a familiar term for everybody. But remember, we're looking at the answers to the questions. And if we have uh, yes answers, uh, it may impair our ability to make a preferred offer. Uh, we may not be able to make a standard offer. We may not be able to make an offer at all. It depends on what the question is. But the knockout questions, those questions uh, that will prevent a customer from qualifying for any coverage are up front. So waterfall application, the knockout questions are up front. Um, and that's a good thing for you and your clients because neither of you will waste time applying for a product that they can't qualify for. We uh, do offer different products based on the answers to the application questions. We also offer both standard and preferred. And uh, I am hoping to wow you with this next statistic. The last time I checked, which was back in the fall of last year, the last time I checked, 74% of our final expense approvals were on a preferred basis. This is good news for you as agents, and it's really good news for your customers, because that means that 74% of those people got our best rate offers. Um, if we get a good, clean application complete with all the signatures, we're going to have fast placement. Uh, in some cases, 42, 48 to 72 hours. And I also want to um, underscore the fact that with Transamerica's final expense, there is no waiting period once the policy is issued and the coverage is non-cancelable. Uh, as long as the premiums are paid on a timely basis. So I hope that's clear. Very, very uh, strong underwriting advantages. Our product portfolio with final expense um, actually is made up of three different solutions. Now let me take just a moment to explain the difference. Uh, what we sell the most of is actually the first one that you see on the screen. That is our immediate solution final expense product. It has a level premium to age 100 or for the life of the insured, and it offers a full immediate face amount death benefit. The 10 pay solution, you know, uh, is basically the same chassis, but it's for a customer who prefers a short pay or a quick pay, a 10-year level premium payment scenario. It so also those, offers... 
So for those who don't uh, quite understand why that 10 pay solution is a good idea, um, obviously you can shorten the period of time where you're paying the premiums, but uh, economically it works out to be a, a cost savings for the client uh, for sure. Absolutely, David. Thanks, thanks for interjecting that. Absolutely. So immediate solution is a number one seller. The 10 pay is probably uh, where the smart money goes, if you will. Uh, and last is the easy solution. We offer the easy solution pretty much as the default option uh, based on the answers to the help questions in the application where the customer uh, has indicated in the MIB and other you know, sources that we check verify that there are some health issues. They're not an absolute decline, but they're not eligible for the immediate solution or the 10 pay solution. So it is available for those people applying between the ages of 18 to 80, so not all the way up to age 85. Um, it does offer the level premium to age 121. Uh, and the significant thing about it is because of the impaired health of the individual, there is a graded death benefit for the first two years. Then it levels out to the full face amount beginning in year three. So again, for people who have certain health issues, they might be totally uninsurable and a decline with another carrier. With our waterfall app and with the ability to offer the easy solution, the good news is that we, in a lot of cases, can offer coverage. So that's it for those uh, three product solutions, if you will. Here's uh, a little more information. The immediate solution, male, female, underwriting classes, preferred or standard, tobacco, non-tobacco, user. Over to the right, you'll see the issue ages, the bands, and the face amounts available. You will see the endorsements, uh, accelerated death benefit, with or without a nursing home benefit. That's a mouthful. But essentially what that means is we will accelerate the death benefit in the event of a qualifying health um, event, meaning essentially that the insured has 18 months or less to live. So it's like a terminal illness acceleration benefit, which you'll hear more about shortly. Uh, we have an accidental death benefit rider, which is optional, and also a children and a grandchildren's rider. So parents or grandparents can add up to nine children up to a $1,000 uh, per face amount coverage for those children. And uh, you would be surprised at the amount of children or grandchildren's term writer that we write on final expense. It is incredibly affordable. So that's it for the immediate solution. Here is the 10 pay. You'll see the same underwriting classifications and issue ages with uh, the banded face amount. You'll see that we do offer uh, both accelerated death benefit options, but we do not offer on 10 pay the accidental death or the children, grandchildren's term insurance rider. I think that's pretty clear. And then here's the easy solution. The underwriting classes are male, female, and standard only, and we do not offer writers or endorsements with the easy solution. But again, the good news in it news is that we are offering some coverage. David, any comments or questions? No, I I, uh, uh, I think uh, many of the uh, participants are are familiar with your your product those who aren't uh, that was a great presentation to, to sort share that share with them all the insights uh, anybody on the uh, webinar that uh, you know could use some more information we've got all the the PDFs and the uh, product information here in our office your marketer has access to them and a quick email out to your marketer or a telephone call uh, just make a request I'll be glad to send it out on out to you um, and that way you can uh, I think 
probably the agent guide is the very best resource that the industry has for an agent's learning. Uh, just simply sit down and read it. I think that's an excellent suggestion. I'm going to take about 30 seconds uh, for people who haven't seen the Transamerica Final Expense application uh, to show you how it works. So um, if that's agreeable, let me run through this. Uh, remember I said we have two different applications depending on the issue age of the insured. And we know that our target market is insureds that are 45 to 85 years old. So I thought what we would do is look at that application. It is called L122. Uh, and remember, I talked about the knockout questions up front. They begin actually in part C2 of um, the application. With part C2, if there is a yes to any of these questions, there is no coverage available. Stop right there. We move on to part C3, assuming we had no's in C2. If we have yes to one question, the insured will be considered for easy solution. If we have yes to two or more questions, stop right there, sorry no coverage available uh, based on the answers to those questions. C4 um, is actually where we begin to hone in on what product the insured might be eligible for. And as you'll see on the right there uh, on part C4, if all of the questions are answered no, then that insured is eligible for preferred class on either immediate solution or the 10 pay. If there is a yes to one question, then they would be eligible for standard. If there is a yes to two or more questions, then they would be considered for easy solution. So I apologize for dragging you through that, but I think it's important for you to understand how that field underwriting process works. And I will tell you, this is a paper app and I think that paper application that we have at Transamerica is your best friend as someone who's recommending final expense. That paper app gives us a lot of room to include additional information. You know, there's some information there about drugs that may have been prescribed at some point in time. The more you tell us about why that drug was you know, prescribed, it was temporary, uh, the health situation is rectified, we're no longer on that drug, that sort of thing. Um, the more information you give us, uh, the better that underwriting outcome is going to be. Make sure you get all of the signatures, make sure that the name is signed, you know, uh, fully, uh, and consistently on that application, but um, I think that paper application is your best friend. So enough about all of that. Uh, what about quotes? Transware is an easy way for you to run quick quotes um, for our final expense product. Uh, I think you all know this, but it's available on Agent Net Info at our website there. Uh, we also have a mobile uh, website. So, you know, if you're out in the field, if you're sitting with a prospect, this gives you the ability to run a quote on the fly, if, if you will. So, um, one last thing, you're right. I think, David, um, you know, our product guide is a very powerful piece of information for an agent to have. If I were only going to have one of all of our marketing materials, uh, I would certainly have that spec sheet and quick facts that tells you everything you need to know about Transamerica final expense. Uh, we also have the premium at a glance flyer. Uh, if you don't want to fool with running a quote, I personally like to run the quote. There's a consumer guide to leave with your customer. Uh, there is a brain shark if you have underwriting questions or if you just want to get a little additional training. 
Uh, and last but not least, you'll see in the lower left corner, my last will. In my experience, this is a great tool for you in the field to, to begin and to lead the conversation about final expense. It is a leave behind a worksheet, if you will, for your customer. It allows them to record where their important documents are, where their wills, their trust, their important papers, maybe the key to the lockbox. Um, so that's great information to leave behind. And it's also a great way to sort of lead the conversation around to what kind of final expenses, debts, et cetera, do you anticipate? And also, what are your wishes as far as your final ceremony, your funeral, your burial, your cremation, uh, and to talk about uh, the very high expenses of those last arrangements. So. Um, I will sort of leave leave you with that in terms of the marketing materials. Yes, David. Hey, just a suggestion for the agents on the line. Um, that is a great tool to be able to to leave behind to maybe get an opportunity to come back in the house. If you happen to be, you know, visiting with your client and delivering a, a policy uh, uh, that had just been issued or um, you know, you're you're over just uh, saying hello. It's not a bad idea to just uh, say, hey, by the way, uh, take a look at this. I, I want you guys to sit down and sort of have a serious conversation so that I can come back and, and sit down with you and, and offer some help to, to this type of solution. Uh, and just leave it with them with your big business card uh, stapled on it uh, so that you have an opportunity to re-enter that house and begin to discuss, uh, you know, while you're not there, an opportunity for, you know, maybe something that they have not considered yet. And uh, of course, the the final expense product is a great solution. And and uh, Transamerica does such a phenomenal job at providing marketing materials. Uh, they 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 really do a good job at at making sure it's professionally done. And uh, you'll never be embarrassed dropping off a Transamerica uh, client brochure or a uh, my last will brochure um, to your clients. David, thank you for that. I could not agree more. And we will um, wrap up final expense by just reviewing quickly the client profile. This is where uh, you know you you begin to close in on who you know who might be a good prospect. Obviously, seniors. We've already talked about the baby boomers. Um, how about younger? families who have term coverage uh, but who feel the need for a permanent life insurance solution, permanent coverage as well. Um, how about grandparents, those people you just sold Medicare supplement policies to, uh, their need for permanent coverage and final expense and particularly grandparents who not only need coverage on themselves, but would like to go ahead and pay for coverage on their grandchildren. Remember, we can add that children's term rider onto a base final expense policy for either a parent or a grandparent. Uh, let's broaden our scope a little bit beyond the obvious. Uh, let's talk about uh, mass affluent and middle market buyers who may only have group insurance coverage based on uh, the condition of their employment, which means if they have a job change, that group coverage may not be portable and they may not, depending on what happens with their health, be eligible to buy new life insurance um, if they lose that group coverage. So just keep that in the back of your mind. You know, so many, well, healthcare is um, such an issue. So are group benefits employers offering less and less, but just keep that in the back of your mind. And also one, one last thought, anyone who cannot qualify for standard fully underwritten 
permanent life insurance coverage due to their age or their health may have a real good shot at qualifying for final expense with Transamerica. So um, that's pretty much it for final expense. Any more comments, Dave, or do you want to take a, David, or do you want to take a question or two, or shall we keep going? Now, let's go ahead and keep going. We are about a little over halfway through our time frame, so let's go ahead and jump into the term. We'll save questions towards uh, the end of the webinar. Awesome. I think that's great. And again, I'm going to hit the high notes. I don't think I'm going to take all of the allotted time, but, you know, I may get on a tear. You may have to get out the hook and get me off the stage. Uh, Jane, but we're gonna uh, before, you, now. Jane, before you jump in too deep, yeah. I want everybody to know on the webinar that, you know, I routinely run quotes on uh, all kinds of different products and, and all the carriers kind of come up when I do my quotes. And uh, one thing I can tell you is that Transamerica is always, always, always going to be in the mix of the competitive, uh, you know, top positions in any quote you run. Um, it's very, very rare that I find that I run a quote and Transamerica does not appear in the top, say, two or three or five carriers in that quote. Uh, the trendsetter is no, um, you know, it, it is it is a super strong competitor and offers uh, just some great, great uh, nuances of uh, add-on benefits that uh, uh, Jane's going to go over with us. So uh, stay uh, stay focused in and, and pay attention because uh, there's a real great opportunity with this product. I, I could not agree more, David. Thank you for that setup. Um, I'll just say that uh, Transamerica term was first life insurance contract I wrote way back when at the beginning of my career. Um, and historically, Transamerica has just been very well known for term insurance, most recently for this Trendsetter series term portfolio. And as David just said, our key messaging for consumers is that it offers protection for families, for business owners. It's very simple to understand. It's easy to qualify for, especially based on our non-medical limits. Um, and it's affordable. We have two versions of Trendsetter. We have Trendsetter Super, which is a traditional term product. And then we have Trendsetter LB, as in living benefits, uh, so that we really offer a, a wide range of uh, customers, uh, you know, some, some very terrific solutions for their protection needs. So, um, Let's look at both products side by side, and we'll start on the left with Trendsetter Super. Uh, and as we look at this particular slide, keep in mind that both Super and LB are um, initial level premium term products with those initial rate guarantees of 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 years. So this is a guaranteed level premium term. Um, as we go through this comparison, I'm going to point out a couple of our sweet spots, if you will, from a competitive point of view. Uh, and uh, as we look at Trendsetter Super, seven bands, we will write as low as 25,000 and we'll go uh, up to and over 10 million. And I wish about half of you on the call would send us a $10 million case next week, okay? Um, but the good news is we go low, that band one is 25,000 to 99,999. And again, that's niche number one because this is our non-medical limit for Trendsetter Super. And the reason this is important, you can get a non-medical on a low face amount of only $25,000 without having to go to a higher uh, minimum of face amount of say $100,000 as with some other carriers. So that's not important for everybody, but it is important for a client who doesn't need a six figure face amount. It just makes life easier for everybody. 
Uh, Trendsetter LB is on the right side. It comes in four bands. Uh, we will write as low as 25000 and as high as $2 million in face amount. Notice with Trendsetter LB that our non-medical limits are up to $249,000. Uh, and that is insured age uh, up to 60 as well. So we'll go up to 249 uh, and up to insured age 60 last birthday. And by the way, that's sweet spot number two. Let's say you have a guy or better still, maybe a gal uh, who's 40 years old. She has, she or he has good health history. And uh, let's say they need, 200000 for income replacement to take them up to uh, retirement at, say, age 65. That's a 25-year need for that policy. And Transamerica with Trendsetter LD offer a 25-year duration. And if this client, hypothetically, uh, has a good um, health history, then they're very likely to be able to qualify that on a non-medical basis. I spend a whole lot of time talking to agents about that because they aren't aware of it. And it's very important for you to know. Now, when I say non-medical, once again, we're going to check the uh, MIB, uh, the MDR, and you know, prescription history. But that's uh, that's pretty much it for the side by side. Just you know the basic again the product chassis for Super and then LB. But here is a very important page. Here's some very important information. Uh, David, give me a heads up here. How familiar are our agents on the call today with living benefits or accelerated death benefits? I think that uh, more and more our community of agents is beginning to really see the value in the uh, living benefit type uh, add-on riders, or uh, many times we'll see that they are actually included in the uh, in the premiums. And so I, I hope um, they are all familiar, but I think there probably is a few that uh, they could use a refresher, um, especially on the webinar. Okay, and I'm going to skip the income protection option, which is, you know, the, the, first, uh, the first topic on the left, and we're going to go to um, Trendsetter Super and Trendsetter LB side by side. Notice that both contracts offer a terminal illness, accelerated death benefit um, option. It's embedded in the contract at no additional cost. Um, so this is, again, automatically included, no additional charge, and it means that we will accelerate the lesser of 1.5 million up to 100% of the face amount, remember, uh, whichever is less, in the event of a terminal illness event. And just to be clear, that's where we have a medical diagnosis uh, where life expectancy is 12 months or less. So that is automatically included. Moving down that chart, we come next to chronic and critical illness, um, ADBs or living benefits. They are not available, they are not offered on Trendsetter Super, but they are offered on Trendsetter LB. They're built into the products. There is an additional cost uh, as opposed to the same duration, the same face amount on Trendsetter Super without living benefits. But I will uh, tell you that um, I ran a quote the other day for a male 45, he was, I think, a preferred non smoker, 25 year duration. And to add, it was a $500,000 face amount, by the way, and to add LB to his policy versus Trendsetter Super without the chronic or critical illness LB, to add LB was less than $5 a month. You know, think about 
how valuable that might be to a breadwinner in a family who has a serious health event and they don't die. The good news is they live and the bad news is they're going to be faced with some perhaps potentially significant health costs that are not otherwise covered. So this, this is a phenomenal thing to be able to offer a customer. And uh, as I said in my example with this 45-year-old, a half million dollar face amount, $5 more a month. I mean, that's a cup of Starbucks, uh, I think. So anyway, let's talk about what we mean just quickly at a high level about um, the chronic illness ADD. And that is uh, going to be an individual who has um, who has a diagnosis of being unable to perform at least two of the six ADL activities of daily living. So, for all of you who are familiar with long-term care, you know this kind of individual. If they had long-term care coverage. Uh, th this is, you know, the kind of situation that would qualify them for a claim. So the ADLs are bathing, dressing, toileting, transferring, eating, uh, or someone who uh, needs supervision uh, for safety reasons due to, you know, perhaps a cognitive impairment. So it, this sounds a lot like long-term care, but it isn't. Uh, it's not nearly as expensive. Uh, it's not the same thing, but what it would do is give us the ability to advance, again, the lesser of 1.5 million or 90% of the policy face amount with a limit of 24% of the face per year. So, so that's Jane, many, how many times. Jane, many times we, uh, as producers, are um, you know kind of focused on the death benefit and the um, you know making sure that you've got enough money in place to be able to you know provide whatever it is the reason for the coverage. However, uh, in a lot of situations these days, people are surviving more and more things like heart attacks and strokes and uh, cancer, especially. Uh, the statistics are just showing incredible. Um, you know, gains in the survival rate. And so what ends up happening is what what is uh, meant to, to help out, uh, you know, at, at the death of a client um, now becomes an opportunity to also help out that client uh, during their life. And so what used to be a very sort of uh, selfless purchase of life insurance, uh, meaning that they do it for the people that survive and they really it's not something that they buy for themselves where the you know the add-on of a living benefit such as these this can now be a little bit more you know self-serving type of purchase where the buyer actually has an opportunity to um, you know to, to utilize the um, the value of buying life insurance through accessing the death benefit while they're alive. Now, uh, when you have coverage such as a Medicare Advantage plan, uh, that may not actually include specialists that could be necessary in order to treat you for cancer or whatever else the condition might be. Um, this would give you the opportunity to access cash and dollars within this death benefit that you could really use at this time to be able to maybe find a doctor that is is more qualified to help you through that situation and survive so your clients will will see great value if you explain it to them like you know what happens if you survive uh let's let's talk about the uh, flexibility of this policy and how it might lend itself to um you know better care or even you know things like a great vacation before you pass away or 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 whatever the case may be, just having access is really, really valuable and a great uh, additional benefit of doing business like this with uh, Transamerica. And David, that I, that is just an awesome summary of it. And bear in mind, everyone, you know, once we have a medical diagnosis and you're on claim up to the you know limits that I'm explaining, 
We don't care what you use the money for. You may have all your medical costs covered, but what about your mortgage? What about college education? Uh, you know, all those other bills that keep on going, uh, even if a person isn't at work full time or perhaps not able to work at all. So, I, you know, this is a, this is a fun product for me to talk about because I think there's such a need for it. Uh, one last thing as far as uh, Trendsetter LB and that critical illness accelerated death benefit, uh, that means obviously a much more su uh, significant health event uh, versus the chronic diagnosis. Um, and it generally means a significantly reduced life expectancy. And again, we're talking serious stuff that you don't want to have happen. Uh, but, you know, life, life is about what if. Things like this do happen. Um, so we're talking heart attack, stroke, um, renal failure, you know, an accident even. There is no annual limit uh, in terms of the ability to accelerate the death benefit. And uh, once again, it is the lesser of 1.5 million or 90% of the face amount. Uh, and at the time of claim, uh, we will actually ex assess the information provided by the insured doctor and come up with an offer, uh, you know, based on their health, health condition, their prognosis, their age, et cetera, with, um, you know, what those actual uh, accelerated amounts would be. But I think uh, it just sums it up to say this is life insurance you do not have to die to use. Um, and, and everybody knows, you know, the grim statistics. Um, I, I, really, I really hate to even talk about this stuff, but as professionals, we have to be aware of it. You know, a heart attack, there's a die, there is a heart attack uh, every 42 seconds, and people are living, as David said. There's a stroke every 40 seconds, and people are living. And then there's the dread cancer diagnosis that's every 30 seconds. So uh, that's why these people, these, uh, these solutions are becoming so popular. And I'll just leave you with a couple of more things. The number one reason people take a withdrawal from their 401k plan prior to retirement is because of health events like this and they need the money and they don't have anywhere else to go. And the number one cause of bankruptcy in this country, again, same thing. So um, whether it's trendsetter, trendsetter LB, you know, give your Give your customers the choice. Talk about the additional need for protection. And again, it's a wonderful add-on um, to what you're you're talking about in terms of MedSup and just doing good planning. So that is it on LB. And we have one more quick topic. Topic, and I'll make it real quick. I'll make it a commercial, David, if we have time. And that's a financial foundation. Okay, let's, let's see if I can do this in about one and a half minutes. Somebody time me. Um, <laughs> IU, all right, I know you love a challenge, David. Uh, <laughs> IUL as a product segment is the number one uh, increasing product in terms of total sales, and it has been uh, for several years now. IUL, Index Universal Life. And I believe the reason for that is in this low interest rate environment for people who need permanent life insurance, who also understand the tax advantages of life insurance, the ability to grow dollars inside uh, an index account strategy on a tax deferred basis, the ability to withdraw money, let's say at retirement uh, via withdrawals or tax-free policy loans, that's huge. The ability to transfer a large sum of money in the form of a death benefit to your beneficiary on an income tax-free basis, that's huge as well. 
So uh, low interest rate environment that an index IUL offers the upside of index investment with downside protection in that most of the IULs have a floor of 0%. So in a down market, in a negative market, uh, the customer inside that IUL is uh, not going to be subject to loss. I don't care how far down the index goes. So it's a limit of loss in the down years. Um, so it's, so Jane, it's that's, really a... That, that product is uh, one that uh, we would uh, be very interested in holding a webinar that would... Um, focus completely on that product. At some point, I'd like to chat with you about that. And if you're on the webinar and have an interest in going in depth on this particular product, then uh, by all means, uh, send us a, a note, uh, tell your marketer, uh, fire me an email, however you need to communicate it, get it over to us and we'll get it scheduled for you. Um, so Jane, thank you so hey, much. David, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interrupt you just for one yeah. second. This is my punchline. Go. So that's IUL in general. FFIUL is the Transamerica product. More agents are recommending IUL than any other IUL product on the street today. And I would love to come back and tell you more about it. Thank you so much for your time. And it's all yours, David. Fantastic. Great job, Jane. Thank you so much. I do have a couple of questions, though. Uh, before we get to the end of our webinar. Oh, yeah. So everybody on the webinar who uh, is still on and, uh, uh, you know, reach out to your marketer, ask them to send you out this pen. We've got, uh, I think, about 50 of them available here for you guys that are on the webinar. So uh, everybody will get one. They're really nice. I know that the picture does it quite the justice. It's got a little light on it that uh, can maybe, uh, you know, light up a keyhole or whatever the case may be. Um, the uh, the other end has a stylus on it that you can use on your iPhone or your iPad. Um, so, um, yeah, we're real excited to be able to get these things out to you. So reach out to your marketer, let them know you're on the webinar, and let them know you want your pen. Um, so uh, thanks again for joining us. Next week, or actually tomorrow, we've got Cigna doing a presentation on their product line, so join us for that. Next week, we're going to have Life Shield doing a presentation on their um, – Survivor Solution, a real nice product, kind of a niche product. And then we've got Mutual of Omaha offering some insights on their products. So the webinar series continues. We are in week three. Uh, so we've got six weeks of, uh, you know, back to back Wednesday, Thursday kind of training sessions for you. We are recording them all. So you can uh, tap into them at a, at a time later, you know, in the calendar if you happen to maybe forget some information or or, or just, you, you can't attend a, a webinar and you want to, you know, jump in at a later time to uh, to check out the information and, and listen to it on the treadmill. Uh, we have it available for you. So we're really, really excited to be able to collect this, uh, uh, you know, valuable learning opportunity for you and just provide it when you need it. Uh, Jane, again, thank you so much. Kaylee, do we have any questions for Jane before we let everybody go? We do have two questions. Uh, do you sell in Florida? Yes, we do. Absolutely. A lot. Yep. I sold a case just not too long ago. Thank you. Um, another question was, what in someone's driving record would exclude the client from qualifying for final expense? Oh, speeding tickets, depending on when they happen, DUI, reckless driving, that sort of thing. And it will depend on the age and, of course, the date of the event. Is that all you got there, Kaylee? Yep, that was the only, only two. Okay, perfect. So, uh, folks, uh, thank you again for joining us. Um, we look forward to bringing you more and more value in these webinars. Uh, we actually have another series uh, being designed right now. Stay tuned for what that is. Another exciting event, we'll follow this one up. We'll do it in March. Uh, we'll do some preparation work in February and and, and be uh, making sure we get you out some communication as to when and what that is. 
Uh, so I'm real excited for for that stuff to continue and, and for us to be able to continue to bring value to you guys as business partners. So uh, thanks again. Everybody have a great, great day.